rectangle model and what we see here is we see we have 29 uh, oak, oak trees. trees so I'm going to use that in the big rectangle so the big rectangle big rectangle 29 and then the little rectangle 14 because 14 is less it's than all, yeah. exactly 29 and then how do we actually see how many there are in all that means we want to add exactly so that's going to be 29 plus 14 and that equals 43. Okay. And so we see 43 as the answer for the number of trees. <laughs> exactly. That's a lot of trees. That is actually a lot of trees. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But now let's compare that to the number of birds. Oh, yes. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We'll actually draw these rectangles. Mm -hmm. And we see now that we have 13 cardinals. Oh, yeah. You'd put that in the smaller box. Exactly, because the other one was 42 blue jays, and that's huge. Great. 42 is greater than 13. Huge. Yeah, I'm getting good at this. You are. And so 13 plus 42 is the total number of birds they saw, which is 55. And so we see that total, they have 55 as the number of birds. So we see we have 43 trees, and we saw they saw 55 birds. And so now, is 43 greater than or less than 55? It is less than. Exactly. So I'm going to use the less than symbol, which is this. Mm -hmm. And so what we see is the number of trees, in fact, is less than the number of birds because 43 is less than 55. And so we see that Braden's class actually saw fewer trees than birds. Huh. That's just great. And that is the answer. We have solved the math puzzle. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Huh. That was a math puzzle. Oh. I guess it was. You're sneaky. I am, but it's fun to do math. It's wonderful. Can have, we go where Braden's class went? Absolutely. We can count for ourselves. Awesome. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. <laughs>